Hello everybody and welcome to our video classroom. Dear students, today we are going to study the quantifiers much, many, a lot of and how to use them in sentences. Before using these words, I want to remember a grammar topic about countable and uncountable numbers. Look at the screen and let's see. Countable noun. Countable noun is a noun which can be counted in cardinal numbers 1, 2, 4 and gets plural form. One dog, two dogs. Let's see some more examples. One book, three books. One house, five houses. One tree, six trees. We can replace the numbers with many. Let's see some examples. One book, many books. One house, many houses. We use countable nouns with the expression there are. There are many and there are a lot. Let's see some examples. There are many apple trees in the orchard. There are a lot of flowers in the garden. Now let's see the rule about the uncountable noun. Uncountable noun is a noun that cannot be counted with numbers and doesn't get plural. Let's see some examples. Bread, cheese, juice, water, honey. Uncountable nouns are used with much. Let's see some examples with much. Milk, much milk. Bread, much bread. Honey, much honey. Cheese, much cheese. We use uncountable nouns with the expression there is and a lot of. Let's see some examples. There is much milk in the fridge. There isn't much butter. There is a lot of juice in the glass. Today we are going to speak about fruits, vegetables and food as countable and uncountable nouns. Look at the screen. So I have a picture with a lot of food. So let's see, what do you see on the picture? Bread, pear, pepper, honey, ham, ice cream, apple, nut, milk, cherries, cheese, cake, milk, and flowers. So let's see what, which of them are uncountable nouns. We can say a lot of for uncountable nouns too. We can say a lot of ice cream, a lot of milk, a lot of coffee, a lot of cheese. Let's continue. Let's see countable nouns. Countable nouns, we can count them and we use them with many and a lot of. Many cherries, many peppers, many flowers, many apples, many nuts, many pears. And we can say, of course, a lot of. A lot of apples, a lot of flowers, a lot of nuts. We can make questions with how much and how many. Let's see some questions with much and many. Look at the screen and let's complete the sentences. Fill in the gaps using much or many. Which one do you think is the best? How pants do you have? So, let's see the correct sentence. How many pants do you have? How milk do you drink every day? Much or many? 
How do you think? How much, of course, milk do you drink every day? How books do you have on your desk? Much or many? Let's see. How many books do you have on your desk? And one more example. How sugar do you put in your tea? Much or many? Let's see. How much sugar do you put in your tea? We can use much and many in dialogues. Let's see some dialogues. Do you eat much ice cream? No, I don't. I eat a lot of fruits. Do you eat many apples? No, not many, but I drink much apple juice. Do you put much jam on your bread? Yes, I do. I like jam a lot. Do you drink much cola? No, I don't, but I drink much lemonade. Look at my screen. We are going to read the story. Look at the pictures and guess what is the text about. So I have a man, an apple and a fruit tree. Let's see what's the story about. Look at the screen, listen and read. The title of the text is Old Apple Seed John. Once there was an old man. He lived in a little house. He was kind and helpful. He loved people and people loved him. So let's stop here and let's answer to a question. Why did the man like people? How do you think? Because he was kind and helpful. Let's continue reading the text. Old John liked apples. He ate a lot of apples and saved all the seeds and put them into a bag. And now let's answer to another question. Why did he save the apple seeds? How do you think? He wanted to plant apple trees. That's why he saved apple seeds. One day, John locked the door on his little house and went away. He carried a bag of apple seeds on his back. Let's continue. All summer he planted a lot of apple seeds along the road. Let's stop here and answer the question. What did the old man do all summer? He planted a lot of apple trees along the roads. Let's see the next piece of the text. Fine trees grew from the seeds which he planted. Every autumn they gave many apples. People often stopped to eat some apples and to sit under the beautiful apple trees. They all thanked old apple seed John. And now answer the question. Why did people thank old apple seed John? Because they liked the apples. Now let's speak more about John. Look at the sentences and say, is it true or false? And call it the false ones. Old John lived in a palace. Is it true or false? Let's see. Old John lived in a palace. Everybody liked him. Is it true or false? Everybody liked him. That's true. Old John wanted to make people happy. Is it true or false? That's true. Old John wanted to make people happy. He didn't like apples. Is it true or false? Let's see. That's false. He liked apples. He planted pear trees. Is it true or false? 
he planted apple trees. People stopped to eat some apples. Is it true or false? That's true. People stopped to eat apples. People thanked old John for his apples. Is it true or false? That's true. People thanked old John for his apples. I hope you liked the story about John. What about you? What can you do to make people happy? How can you help people? Think about it. Let's remember what we have studied today. So today we studied countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are used with many and a lot of. Uncountable nouns are used with much and with a lot of. We use the expression there are for countable nouns and there is for uncountable nouns. Here I finish my class for today. Stay safe and see you the next time. Bye!